In Google Photos, I've got around 6,400 photos and videos, and now I'm gonna show you how to download all of them in one go. And then you could delete all of your photos and videos from your Google account to free up storage space. If you go to your Google Drive on a browser, you could see 94% of my storage is full and around 5 GBs of that is taken by Google Photos. So the best way to free up space on your Google Drive is by downloading all of your photos and videos from Google Drive. So go to this website called takeout.google.com and here it shows all of your data associated with your Google account. First, deselect all products and then scroll all the way down to a section called Google Photos. And now only check this box for Google Photos. Click on multiple formats. This would give you a summary of Google Photos formats. So these are the types of files that would be downloaded. So JSON files are just the metadatas of the albums and photos. Click on OK. And now if you would click on all photo albums included, you could see all the photo albums are selected. Here you could deselect all and just select the ones that you want, but because we want to download all the photos and videos, keep them as it is and then click on OK. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom, click on next step. Here you could select where to download the photos, keep it as send download link via email. And then you could also select file type. By default, it is zip files. You can keep it as it is. And then you could also select the file size. If you would select 4G, then file sizes larger than 2 GB would be compressed in zip 64. So in order to keep it simple, keep it at 2 GB. Basically, if you got more than 2 GBs of photos and videos, Google would create multiple zip files to download photos and videos more than 2 GBs. The next step is to click on schedule new export. This would then schedule an export. As it says in here, it can take days or even weeks for the files to be ready for the download, especially if you have turned on advanced protection protection on your Google account. You don't have to keep this website open so you can close it. You can even turn off your computer and simply wait for the email from Google. And then you should get an email saying archive of Google data scheduled for your email ID. This process can take some time. So around two days later, you should get this email saying scheduled archive of Google data started for. And then 10, 20 minutes later, you will get another email. Here you could see the date that you have requested, the download of Google Photos. And this is the date until when you could download all of your photos. After this date, the links would expire. You could click on this link, manage Google takeout request, or simply right click on it and copy hyperlink. Then go to a browser and paste the link and then enter. The total size of photos and videos to download is 25 GB. That is why it is divided into 13 different zip files to download. So in order to download, simply click on the download link in front of the part one. You might have to log in again to your Google account and then the download would start. In a similar way, you could click on download link for part two and instead of waiting for one part to finish downloading you could keep clicking on the download link of all the parts and download all the zip files simultaneously once all your zip folders are downloaded just make sure they are downloaded completely and then you could click on the folder icon to go to your downloads folder here you should find all of your downloaded zipped folders and now select all the zipped folders and check the number of folders and total size. And in my case, it is 13 folders and 25.3 GB. Then come back to your browser and here you could see 25.3 GB matches as well as 13 zipped files. Go back to the downloads folder and now you need to verify that all your photos and videos are downloaded properly. So double click to go inside the zip folder. Then there is another folder called takeout. And then inside that, there is another folder called Google Photos. And here you could see your downloaded albums and then open a few photos and videos to make sure they are downloaded properly. These zip folders need a bit of a cleanup. 
First, right click on the zip folder and then select extract all and then click on extract. In a similar way, extract all the zip folders. Make sure all your folders are extracted properly and now you can delete all your zipped folders. And inside these folders, you could see a file type called JSON, which stores your metadata of all of your photos and videos. And if you have not made any changes to your photos or videos on Google Photos, then this metadata is pretty much useless. Obviously, you can right click on a photo or video and then go to the properties details tab and here you could see the date taken and some other metadata so if you find the metadata in the properties sufficient you could delete all the json files i have made another video on how to delete all the json files in one go link in the pinned comment next you could go to the root folder of google photos and then select all the folders inside click on cut and then go to the folder just before the takeout folder and then paste all those folders there and then the takeout folder would be emptied and now you can delete the takeout folder you could do the same for all the downloaded folders and finally you could move all the folders from the downloads folder to an external drive or the drive that you store all of your photos and videos again make sure all of your photos and videos are downloaded properly by opening a few of your photos and videos and finally you could go to your google photos on a browser Browser, select all of them and delete them to free up storage space on your Google account. I have made another video on how to delete all Google photos and videos at once. Link in the description. If this video helped you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have got any questions, please let me know in the comments below.